Hey guys, so last week we were learning how to generate a number that is greater than a given number. This week we are going to be using place value to compare numbers using comparative language and symbols like the ones I have down here. So I am going to give you numbers and then you are going to compare the numbers using comparative language such as greater than, less than, or equal to, and symbols like this symbol here. This is less than, equal to, or greater than. What does this mean? Whatever is on this side of the arrow, it is less than what's in on this side of the arrow, which that's why it's a bigger, it's bigger on this side. Whatever's on this side is bigger than what's on this side. If you notice these two symbols, it might remind you of a number line. You see the number line here? This arrow heading in this direction, when the numbers are heading this way, they are less. And then when they start going up in the other direction, they start getting bigger or greater. So what are we going to do? We are going to look at our numbers. I have the number 35 and I have the number 53. So I am going to go to my three dots, hit the shapes, go down, scroll down, and I see my ones, tens, and my hundreds. Well, I know that the number 35 has how many digits? Go ahead and pause the video and tell me how many digits do you see in the number 35? That is correct. It has two digits. It has the digit five and the digit number three. But remember, we learned about place value. Depending where the digit is located, that's the value that it holds. So this five right here is in the ones place. So I'm going to get five ones. And I just click on it and it comes out. One, two, three, four, five. And then let me just put them in a nice order so they're not all over the screen. And then I see, I'm going to just mark my tens. The three is in the tens place. So let me go back to the three dots. I'm going to click on the shapes. I'm going to scroll down again. And here are my tens. How many tens do I need? Three. One, two, three. So let me put them in here nice and neat. I'm just going to make them a little bit smaller. so that we, all of our work can fit in here. Okay, so now let me look at this other number that I have over here. I have the number 53. It also has two digits, but what do I see here in the ones place? I see three ones, and in the tens place, I see five tens. That's why it's important to look at the place value that the digit has. So now I'm going to represent the number 53 using base 10 blocks. And what I can do, I can actually just hit my three dots here and duplicate it. That means it'll just keep on copying it. So I'll just one, two, three, four, Five. I'll make them up here so they can be nice and straight. So there are my five tens. And let me go into my shapes. And I need three ones. One, two, three. I have them over here so that it can make the number 53. Now our objective for today is to use 
place value. Well, that's what you did. You looked at the ones and the tens, the place that each digit had. We drew the value of each one. I know that this three has the value of three ones. This five has the value of five tens, which is 50. Now I'm going to compare the numbers using comparative language or these symbols. So I'm going to compare 35. I can just get my pencil to 53. I can see now what do I do here? First, I'm going to look at the tens place because it is the greater digit. So because this five here is greater than this three on this side in the tens place, I know that 53 is greater than 35. So let me get my hand and I'm going to get the symbol that says 35 is less than 53. If you notice, the bigger side opens up to the bigger number and the small side always goes towards the small number. Okay, so now it is your turn to compare numbers. Remember, we are going to be using comparative language. So when you record yourself, remember to compare the numbers with the language 35 or whatever number you have is less than or if it's greater than the other given number that you may have. Alrighty, go to the next slide so that you can do your work.